Hi, welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipski, your host. Today I'll be showing you my new gadgets. I have a Pilot Fly H1 Plus gimbal that I use to attach my DSLR camera, my my uh, mirrorless DSLR camera. It's a Sony A5100 uh, camera. So let me show you. Here is the Sony A5100. A very good camera that you allow allow you to flip the screen up so you can see yourself when you're taking uh, videos or pictures. But uh, I like this uh, camera a lot because it allows me to uh, touch the screen to focus. But on top of that, it's very light. It is a APS-C sensor, so quite big. Um, just one step down from the full frame camera. Uh, and it's on sale, so it's a very good camera, one of the newer ones. Now uh, Sony comes up with a, I think it's a A6300 series, but this 5100 is more than adequate, especially you can see yourself when you videotape, video record, hey yourself. Now what's so cool about it is that, let me just make sure I don't move my lens here, okay. This gimbal here, this is the there it is. Okay, this is the uh, Hardfly H1 Plus gimbal. Very easy to install. When I first bought it, all I had to do was just balance it by putting my camera onto the base, and then by adjusting it around using this um, screw. There's one, two, and three. I was able to balance it within five minutes and got it working, okay? Especially for a small camera like Sony A5100. Let me show you right now how quick it is. So it's already uh, balanced, but all I have to do is just fit this thing in to my gimbal. Okay, so here's how you do it. Once you have, now don't turn your gimbal on. Whoop, I just did a mistake there. See, I shouldn't turn it on, let's turn it off. There you go. That's the only one thing I have to criticize about this uh, Pilot Fly H1 gimbal is that this button here, you can easily press it by accident. So I don't like that. There's got to be a way to hide that, a way to um, uh, not accidentally. Now, this is how you do it. Okay, so what happened is there's a little screw here on the base, and then you do is you throw in the camera. can find the knob here. There we go. That's it. Okay. Now what you do is, see, it's now balanced. Show you. See, it's how very balanced. So easy. And all I have to do now, take off my cap from my lens. There we go. And press the button and. There we go, and it's working now. Let me uh, turn on my video. Let me just flip this up. Do it again. Okay, I'm going to turn on the camera. Uh -oh. There we go. Okay, so there it is. This is the Sony 5100 camera, A5100 uh, mirrorless camera on a gimbal called the Pilot Fly H1 Plus. So very good for stabilizing image that, that you're taking uh, video on. So uh, I'm walking around going like this and the picture or the video that I record is almost perfect, right? I mean, there's still something I have to work out because I, I don't know how to use the software yet. I will be able to adjust that later on. But for now, just using the second time, um, this is not bad at all. In fact, the video you're about to see that's attached to this video is my recording of Ripley's uh, Aquarium in Toronto. And I was walking around with this device recording all these beautiful marine life. And you can have a look using this gimbal combination, gimbal and Sony A5100. Beautiful picture. Next time, I'll review more of this gimbal 
and Sony A5100. But for now, enjoy the video. Now, before we go, I just want to talk briefly about the uh, case of um, Pilotfly H1 Plus that came with this gimbal. It's very convenient. I put my um, uh, power supply here, and you can see the Sony A5100 can fit easily on one of these um, padding. Right here, there's a Sony A5100, and there is the gimbal right here, and it's all done. So whenever I want to film, this case is so convenient. So it fits the Sony A5100 uh, camera perfectly on th in this case. So excellent to bring around. One of my B camera, and I use my uh, Nikon D5200 as my A camera. Now have a look at the um, video that I recorded in the... Uh, Ripley's Aquarium in Toronto. What's this?
that game again. Excellent for the camera. <laughs> okay, do not put this on YouTube. No, no, I'm, this this is nice. <laughs> this is a this is a mi I don't have to go scuba diving. <laughs> no way. Oh my! Oh, oh, oh. That's a good shark from underground. Oh, that's that's huge. Can do it. Look at this. Oops. It's here. Real nature. Yeah. They are. I want to see some. If you threw a little in the water, it's probably a sheep. I can see the other side of the people. Take a look. Look, can you see the other side of the people? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, right in front of us. Oh, Ron, right in front of top of you. Man, that is so sweet. Look at this guy right here. He's open. Wait, how do they get oxygen? Oh, we're going. He's getting off now. Oh, he's not fish. That's it. His friend says. But they're, they're poisonous, eh? Oh, yeah. I, ha I used to have one. I used to have one, eh? Matthew, they look lionfish. Remember I used to have one, a small one?
to the States one. I'm, I can't remember, but I think... Thank you. 
That's amazing. It's a light, right? I know. Look at that. Ooh, beautiful. I know. Yeah, you don't want to be touching it though, but yes. <laughs> it is. That's what I'm saying. Oh, it's a light, it's a light, it's a light. Yeah. There's a light that's shining. Yeah. Oh, all right. But I admit it. Well, no, they do it in the room. They do it in I gotta see the video when I come home, it's gonna be amazing.